on guys, this is Noah here with Northern Scavenger and I am currently driving to a location. Dave Green pitched this to me not too long ago and looking at the map there's a lot of swirls on the river which is an indicator of rapids of course and we're looking at about 4 degrees in rain and about 50 to 60 kilometer winds for both today and tomorrow which we expect this river to take. So it's going to be a cold high volume river in the shoulder season. So I'm at the takeout and I'm waiting for Dave and Jeff to arrive and here they are. Hey buddy, how's it going? Good man, how are you? Good. I feel like every time we do a canoe trip it's pouring rain. That's the way it works. Hey Noah. Long time. Long time no see. <laughs> so the takeout for this river is kind of down, it's down a logging road that's a little washed out. And in my matrix, I don't know how effective it, this car will be, so I'm gonna follow the boys and hopefully they pull me through if I get stuck. Oh! Oh, I just plowed through. These are the joys of new rivers. Never being to an access point, you don't know the condition of it until you're there. All right, we made it to the takeout. No casualties. I'm gonna jump in with the boys. We're gonna hit the pudding. So one of the fun things is shuttling two canoes in a car. She may be a little bony. After the first few minutes, we knew it was going to be a very bony run, with a lot of dragging and lining. Looking at the maps, we had 5 kilometers of this before getting to the section of the stream that opens up into a proper river. It was very cold, it was very shallow, and the story still holds true, never trust a blue line in Nova Scotia. So that's what this is going to be like. So we spent the entire morning going down a very, very bony stream. It was pouring on us the entire time. We couldn't paddle for more than 100 meters before having to get out to pull over rocks. It was a lot of hard work, but we finally got to some main flow here. We set up camp for the night and the rain stopped and the sun is out. But with the sun comes a lot of wind. Our front's coming through, we should expect a lot of wind tonight. But uh, we're all happy. We're we made it to camp, and there's no more rain. What, what's this thing called? It's not a mine shaft. A mill shaft. So where we decided to camp, there's this man-made structure, and it almost looks like a like a concrete tunnel that we think is a mill shaft. So for some reason, it was used for for moving wood back in the day. It's pretty old and this entire area that, that we're going to be camping on, it seems like it's man-made. It's quite the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Looks pretty manufactured with the, like the lack of litter fall on the ground. Like it's just so perfect. That had to be for moving logs. 
Had to have been, yeah. Like just the way it's shaped. What are you up to over there? It's the lifeblood of the farm water is, so figured I would try and get us some more water. Seems to be a fundamental flaw in my method. <laughs> that was a terrible attempt. Ow. No, still not very good. There you go. Better. There you go. Victory is mine! Expert level. So we're just getting the fire supplies ready. And typically in Nova Scotia, it's really hard to find hardwood. There's a lot of um, pine trees here. But luckily, the site we have is full of hardwood. And hardwood burns a lot hotter, and it burns a lot longer than, than softwood. And we have a nice one right here. And she is extremely dry too. Really dense, strong wood that burns high BTUs. This is supposed to be kindling for the morning, boys. Any luck down there? No luck, buddy. Just found this sweet hat. That hat is pretty sweet. Can I borrow that saw, Dave? We got dumplings and beef broth. And to add to that, we're gonna poach some freshly caught trout. Thank you, good night. <laughs> What's going on? Woke up to snow on the ground, and it's currently snowing. It's about one degree or so. Let me get the fire going. It's still pretty cold out. Today we're gonna to be hitting a lot of rapids. Actually, the only section of our route that had rapids on the map we're gonna be hitting today. Snow and rapids, I don't know if they mix that well. We'll see. We don't have much of a choice now. Thank you. 
Approaching the next set, I saw the boys blow the rapids, so I knew there was a line. I assumed it was to river right, so I stayed far right. When I got closer, I realized there was no line there, so I had to make a last minute decision to dart over to the left side. I got spun around the current and had to shoot the set backwards. When I approach a new set of rapids and I don't see a line right off the bat, I'll pull over to the side and scout from the shoreline. With this set, I saw a line, I felt comfortable, I felt confident, so I went for it. Originally I was planning on staying river right and avoiding a center rock upstream of the set. But when I got back on the water, I decided to go river left. And by doing that, I couldn't bring the boat back around to hit my line. And it ended with me getting stuck in the middle of the river. Well, do you have a throw bag? No. Kind of short. Ah. I'm balancing as soon as I get out of here. It's gonna go. Let's go! 
Yeah, thanks boys. <laughs> Right after getting saved from the boys, there is a long set of rapids and I could either line it on the side or get back on the horse and run it. I knew there was a line, I knew it was possible, but I wasn't sure how my confidence would hold up on all the maneuvers that had to be made. But in these situations, you want to get back on the horse and get your confidence back sooner rather than later because when you're running rapids, a lot of it is a mind game and you want to make sure to have control over your mind so you can properly execute lines that you know make sense. So on the river, there's one marked waterfall, and we got to it right now. Definitely not a line, there's, there's multiple ledges, and the first one is just too much, so we just portage. And technically, this is the first portage of the route. Technically. After a few challenging sets, the river opened up and became shallower and wider with constant class 1 rapids and swifts. To get to our takeout, we took a small tributary that was locked up by a beaver dam to get to the small logging road that we parked at. Thank you.